Welcome to Solo Shot First, and today we are going to be having a look at the vintage collection Rebel Soldier uh, in Echo Base Battle Gear from the Empire Strikes Back. Now, um, this figure is uh, again a reissue, um, and I've got to say, certainly from my perspective, um, a really, really welcome addition. This figure was. Um, one of the more difficult ones to get hold of from the original line and uh, was going for very, very silly money on the secondary market um, until obviously they uh, announced that they were going to reissue this one. Uh, the Empire Strikes Back, I love the film um, and I love the whole setup of Hoth. Um, yes, it does take me back to my childhood, um, but I just love the whole idea of them being on Hoth, you know, on an ice planet. <clears throat> um, and the soldiers just look fantastic. That whole battle um, was was fabulous. So um, the figure itself, or I should say, let's have a look. The, the, the card itself comes obviously with the, the nice Empire Strikes Back, the Star Wars chase. You've got the Kenner logo in the bottom right-hand corner. Um, the image itself is, I think it's, it's, it does look and appears to be obviously it's just sort of pulled straight from the film. Um, really, really nice card back image this. Really nice card back. This one, um, again, it is obviously on that thinner stock, but uh, I think I and everybody else looking at these sort of figures, uh, you know, we do know that all of the, the, the more recent ones that we will be getting soon will all be uh, on the thicker card stock, which is great. Um, but let's have a quick look at uh, a little bit more of a, a close up in the bubble of the figure itself. We bring that in, and that's. Uh, yeah, I mean, just looking at that, even even in the bubble, nice looking packaging. Um, I like the orange name pill and the orange background. That works really, really well. Let's have a quick look at the back of the card. Okay, so apologies, because again, I know I've mentioned this in plenty of other videos, but I do have the natural light coming in behind me. Um, this is uh, VC68, um, a straight repack, I believe. Possibly they might have done something with the photo reel, but unfortunately... I don't, I don't have that original figure to to look at, but um, it does obviously again show the other figures that were available in this wave. So you've got Lobot, Quill, Bib Fortuna, the Mithril, IG Eleven, obviously the the Hoth Rebel Soldier itself, Bo-Katan, Kreese, and Lando Calrissian. A lot of the legal information on the bottom. So VC sixty eight, really nice looking card back. Um, let's get this figure out of the bubble and have a look. Okay, so here we have the uh, figure out of the packaging. Um, I really, really like the, the look of this figure. Um, it is a, obviously, I think, as I said, it's a straight repack. So uh, articulation is probably not up to the standard that we have been getting in, in more of the most recent um releases however it doesn't detract from the quality of this figure in any way shape or form um it's a really nice looking figure um you know, obviously it's got the standard sort of black boots the white um sort of trousers um the nice sort of light brown uh jacket i suppose you could almost class that as like a, a thermal jacket um and the figure itself Obviously, it just does come with that one accessory. With I say one accessory, the one accessory you've got there is the blaster. Um, but the figure also um, comes with these goggles, um, which I'm going to just pop in front there. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, which just sit quite nicely on his head. Um, it's just a nice looking figure. And if you are, again, looking at doing anything from an army building perspective on Hoth, you know, you, you can you can obviously sort of buy multiples with this guy and he's going to fit in wherever, really. So, um, yeah, I, I'm hoping to sort of add possibly a couple more of them and maybe down the line, hopefully get a, a diorama out there around Hoth. Um, but let's have a little bit more uh, of a detailed look at the articulation. Okay, so in terms of the articulation on this figure, 
Um, you've got obviously articulation at the head with the swivel. You've got articulation at the shoulders, um, articulation at the elbows um, and at the waist. Um, it doesn't actually have the swivel wrist. The articulation is, uh, I suppose, more at the forearm, obviously sort of there. That's where the articulation is here. Articulation, obviously, in the, the knees uh, and in the boots, or sorry, I should say in the feet, uh, just with the swivel. So it is a, a straight repack. As I said, it's not um, necessarily got all of the bells and whistles that we have been getting from the more recent releases. However, it is a really, really nice looking figure um, and more than more than well overdue um, that, that obviously we got this, as I said, because this was uh, a very difficult figure to, to sort of get on the secondary market um, and more than welcome for them to put that back in uh, into this line. And again, like I've said on plenty of other videos, this, this figure is great for army building. So um, if you do want to make dioramas, you want to make scenes, or you even just obviously want to sort of pick up this figure that you, you maybe you hadn't, didn't manage to get first time around, it's a, a more than welcome addition. So um, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, um, please hit the like button. Uh, and if you want to subscribe, obviously there'll be plenty more videos coming. Uh, if you do have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll come back to you as soon as possible. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Bye.